ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to my first ever classic guide, I do believe. I've done like, uh, you know, compilation highlights and stuff like that and, uh, you know, some kind of live stream type uh, pre-recorded stuff before. And look at this, Christmas event 2020, a little, nice little uh, acute beer, you know what we're talking about. Let's get to the point, speaking of beers. Um, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the best ever beer bait barrel spot in classic and um now that i've said that nothing's going to turn up so um good times uh, but uh no I, I i've actually like honestly this has been so good i haven't really shared it around because it's probably a little bit broken um but we'll see i mean you know it's in the game I'm not exploiting anything it just is like well, let me go up there and I'll show you where it is and I'll show you why I picked it because you know it makes sense so this is where the bear bait barrel is here you know there's like a viking rune or something up there you might recognize this tent here especially if you're a who cares fan this is where he's put his tent uh, and so the idea is uh, fast travel up to here and you, you need to come in from this side the way it works and I'll show you because there's this big catchment here and you can shoot all the all the bit you know all the bears you want I'm gonna uh, oh <gasps> Let me just get some uh, gaming supplies. Um, actually, make sure I got. Uh, this is a good thing to actually. Why we're here, right? This is all pre-planned. No, it wasn't. But anyway, so um, I use the 30R for this, uh, and I highly recommend it. You need a gun that has good penetration because you can shoot the bears in the ass with this gun, uh, and it'll kill them. Okay. Um, uh, yeah so and it's got two quick shots obviously right so you don't have to be too precise with the aiming on this one uh and and you'll drop them no worries at all so let's uh let's just get that might as well get it loaded up now and also before i forget some scent eliminator on because we're going to do some crawling now one thing is actually is that i've um you know this game's been running a little bit a bit of time so the links right there that could be interesting could mess things up um, but uh, yeah, so I just put a little dot on here, uh, always just to keep keep myself kind of going the right direction. Um, but uh, the first part, unless there's something, which looks like there is something over there. Okay, it's a beer. <laughs> He's not a bad sized beer actually. Um, wait, is there another one over there? No, oh, it smokes. It happens sometimes. Now, I actually think we're probably going to have to get rid of this one. We are, yeah, about 500 meters away, so we should be okay to use a rifle. I'll just back up as far as I can, but basically, I, I've got two options here, right? One is we try and get past this bear, uh, and, you know, maybe it's going to go out of the way. We don't want it to spook, right? And it's not going it's, it's too far away to be going to the barrel. Um, so I think... Uh, Let's try and get past it. I just don't want it spooking over towards the barrel and, and wrecking everything else. So generally, I mean, there's two things about this barrel, which, uh, you know, we'll get there soon and explain about it. But basically the best reason and the only reason this is so good, which might actually start making some people think about different places to put barrels, is because the sight lines are so good. The hills catch the bears, so they can that you're going to see them run up the hills uh and you can just keep shooting them like basically as long as eight bears spawn i mean you can base you can basically shoot every single bear that that uh that always spawns at this bait barrel so um you know it kind of is how it is now i think what we might do is uh i'll probably uh you know cut this part next part out but uh and uh you know i'll see you back when it starts to get serious All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we're uh, starting to kind of get into the spot now where you've got to start settling down a little bit. Um, basically, up until here, as long as there's no animals in front of you like that bear, he actually uh, fled off uh, back downhill. So we're, we're lucky there. But basically, as long as there's no animals in front of you here, you can basically walk to about this spot. Um, or you'll see it on the on the hunter mate there, and here it is on the map. So, uh, you know, probably let's say halfway across. Um, and then from there... I mean, I basically, if you're good at this game, you're pretty much, uh, we didn't even scare the links, what the hell? 
strange but anyway um yeah basically if you you know you play the game a lot and you take it seriously you you basically crouch walk everywhere that's you know a recommendation mine. unless you're like white rhyme ridge something like that right and you're doing some run and gun um or yeah i mean you you, you get the you get the idea of when you can actually run in the game oh, excuse me see squeaky see and when it when it matters when it doesn't matter right but when you're coming up on a bait barrel it most definitely matters now you want to start looking uh soon here actually because they can be from here coming in like that they're kind of usually on the uh, on the hill part coming up here uh, if they are here but like i say because i started a little bit later actually moving out i would say that uh the bears are probably look there's one there the bears are probably already uh close to the barrel um the other thing too i don't know if you guys know but um the big bears scare the smaller bears away so if you don't have great spotting skills watch the behavior of the uh of the bear at the at the, the barrel uh, and you might see, uh, like, I mean, you can actually physically see the size difference too in the bear, especially if they're side by side, uh, which is nice. But, you know, that's just a little bit of a, if you're hemming and hiring over which one to, to shoot, uh, the one with the bigger score will uh, will usually uh, sort the smaller ones out, which is cool. It's kind of like it is in real life, right? They fight for uh, their dominance dominance around the uh, around the food barrel. All right, so I'm gonna head up the hill here. We're doing pretty good. Don't need to crawl just, well, usually you don't need to crawl just yet, right? I'm doing this live, so, uh, and gonna try and do it on one take. We might do a couple of runs just to show you the different uh, variations, um, but uh, for the, I mean, basically I'm, I'm so confident in this spot that I'm not too worried about it. Oh, the other thing too, maybe you're watching. Uh, I always, if you don't know me, uh, I always run the yellow sunglasses on, so, way like it looks like someone's peed in your eyes tk it kind of has i highly recommend getting the yellow glasses though really helps to uh, uh if you like me like early morning hunts all right so we're gonna this is the part that gets a little bit uh slow and if you're taking this seriously again you have to do this unfortunately because um the the, the bear are actually quite often just on the other side of this hill um damn flying rats yeah, a broken tail that one by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, so let's see again how this goes. Um, I might skip forward a little bit because no, you know, the point is not you here watching me sneak in, unless you want to see how to sneak in. But just crawl, listen. You can hear the bears breathing from quite a long way away before, uh, you know, before they actually uh, get to you. So it's good obviously probably i don't even know i've got any nominee though but bring bring some uh first aid kits just in case right because uh there's one i see one beer already uh if you uh you know if you play this a bit everyone's had their face torn off by an angry bear at some stage in this game that's for sure um yeah so i mean that's the other thing too actually i would probably take the mauling and use a first aid kit rather than fire and scare it off um because like i say is it's the honey pot over here okay and remember as soon as you shoot a bear uh, or anything on any bait barrel whether it's pigs or goats uh you get a 30 second uh penalty 30 seconds sorry a 30 minute penalty on the on the the bait site and uh, it loses its attraction for 30 real life minutes not in game minutes um, so there's a couple of ways to get around this is maybe oh, there's another one uh, You can have two beer bait barrels on on a map But generally this to me anyway, and I don't know this for a fact But it seems like there's like a preset amount of beers or, or animals that come to a feeder uh, and uh, Once you've kind of shot them out that one on the left looks pretty big. All right, so let's have let's just have a little quick tally I haven't even looked at the beer bait barrel yet, right? one with ptarmigans two three four five six six there it's probably another one somewhere i can't see to be honest there are seven down the bottom now look i don't know why these are running weird maybe i got here too late but uh let's go and have a look anyway i mean that one on the left i've never seen them uh, act like this I'm not sure if it's too much of a an issue. Look, there's 
what are we at? Seven, eight, nine. There's nine beers here, ladies and gentlemen. Is there's ten? Because I can. Can you hear that one breathing? It's just down the hill here, somewhere from me. So now, just have a quick look at where this is. I'm probably going to get my face ripped off here. Uh, I'm not sure what those other ones are doing over there actually, but I've never seen 10, I don't think I've ever seen 10 beers at a barrel. I mean like usually right, there's probably this many at other sites. It's literally just because, uh oh, there he is. It's literally just because, you know, there's usually trees in the way and all that other stuff. So let's see which one of the big one is and see if my, uh, what I was talking about before is correct. There, I mean, 28 is four. He's probably not uh, super big. I mean, you, you're basically just looking at the weight here, right? That one's maxed out 340, where this one goes to 420. So that's definitely the bigger one. This one here is really going to cause some problems in a second. Just, just shoot. Sorry, I didn't expect it. Shh. Just gonna sit there quietly for a little bit, okay, bear? Right, there we go. Bring a bow with you, just in case that happens too. I got really lucky there. Didn't look like anything else is spooked. There's one down. Now, again, this is kind of weird, actually, because I don't know why the bear. There are bears running away already. Um. The, the 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 key thing here is to actually not start at the ones at the bear bay barrel because you want to take the furthest ones away first uh, and then shoot your way back in so you have to be pretty good actually also at uh, look you have to be pretty good also at kind of having situational awareness if that makes sense to remember where the bear have gone and have run to so uh, I'm just going to do a double check this one seems to be kind of coming in actually which is interesting one two i think there was another one over here somewhere wasn't there all right so there's two far 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 away i should uh, i should take that one on the ridge there if we can get a shot at it probably a shooting stick's not a bad idea here as well um but i don't know if we're going to get another shot at it to be honest with you it looks like it's gone and if i pull the trigger it's definitely gone here's the other one back again look so this one's come back into to view now too i don't know how big it is not nah, small as well so again remember big ones around the barrel especially if you've you know if you give it a little bit of time so if you fast travel straight to that tent don't wait a little while come here don't shoot the first thing you see just sit there, sit on it a little bit and wait uh there's that other one back again i think there he is so let's see how this goes you guys have seen I'm pretty bad at shooting as a reindeer. So remember, start at the furthest ones away. Oh, this one's going to go out of sight. So, one up the hill here. Again, remember, it doesn't matter too much about... Uh, Shot placement, but we do need to get this one over here before it disappears. And where's this one here? With the thirty, or with this uh, thirty R, uh, it doesn't matter too much about shot placement. Is what I meant to say. And then, because you get a little bit lazy, just bang another one in them anyway, as long as you hit. Uh, and Bob's your uncle. So that's basically, uh, that's basically it. Let's go and get this one here, before I forget. Uh, and, and like I said, this is it's pretty repeatable, right? So if you were a, a grinder for, uh, you know, statistics or, um, you know, you want to get a whole bunch of brown bears 
this is the way to do it man this is the spot um there's another place that i want to go and experiment with because like i say it's this is the only reason this is so good is because it's this catchment area you can see how much time i had to shoot the bear there uh, you just have to kind of use your brain work out you know logically which way uh, which animals to shoot first the best one the best thing i can say obviously is you know make sure you start f you know as far away as you can if you shoot at these ones here hey if there was an albino or something right and you're like no i'm i'm, I'm getting that i i think uh, you know you'd be wise to do so but if you just want to get a whole lot of beer that's the best way to do it so and um yeah i mean especially like if you don't play classic you're a call of wild player there's no point not shooting these bears next time you reload the game they won't be here they'll be completely different animals again we're going to start running around a little bit and uh i think that basically wraps this up to be honest with you um this is the viking stone i was talking about here so you can find it really easily on the map it's got a uh, a little you know a, um one of, one of these exclamation marks here and um yeah 31 out of 50 in there still i filled it up the other day live on stream um and by the way if you're watching this uh, i stream on twitch uh tuesdays uh thursdays and fridays so a link in the description below come and uh come and watch come and say hi ask me some classic questions uh go go bananas uh obviously uh yeah come come, come along uh you know in mind that they are they are my private streams too i can't you know i can't tell you about you know if there's a new map coming i can't tell you anything that hasn't been talked about at work so uh just have that in mind but please come on we have a good time so this is one of the bigger ones it's not too bad actually 25 but uh yeah like i think they max out at 480 490 i can't remember the exact weight someone will let me know in the uh the comments below and then we just got to you know kind of remember where the where the bears go and so like actually this is a good point is if you can't remember when come, or where one uh has gone come back to close to the uh close to the barrel because the, the track will still be there right so just follow the especially if you know like we just did then where we have shot every everyone in the game uh, in the game we shot everything in the game everything that was at that barrel uh apart from actually there was one that got away right um and actually the well, we saw we saw ten, and I don't think we've shot at ten to be honest. So, a couple more might have might have got out at the time too. Um, I am still on the hunt for an albino brown bear as well, so I might actually use this uh, technique to see if I can find one. I've I've shot a lot of brown bear, and someone shot one off my uh, map once live on the EW stream. Uh, it was absolutely a wrap for them. Um, there we go should be fleeing back this way okay i guess he's going up here then um so yeah like i was saying good gun make sure um i think i can hear i thought i could hear one getting no aggro with me um I don't know if that is the same beer or that's a different beer. Uh, we'll pick it up and find out, I suppose. Oh, I just missed the lungs on that one. 24, that must have been the, uh, probably the other big one anyway. Alright, so this thing's still going somewhere. Fleeing this way. But, uh, I mean, you see what I mean? Like, I shot that one in the shoulder blade, right? Didn't hit any vitals at all. And it, it went down faster than uh, this one with the intestine shot. Um, but anyway, I think, like I say, you get the idea. You don't want to watch me run around picking up these beers. I'm going to do that. Um, but, yeah, if you want to know more tips and tricks like this, please let me know. Uh, I, I really love Classic. I haven't made a Classic video in a long, long time now. Um, so I'm... Uh, kind of itching uh, itching to get back into it I think so but anyway thank you very much uh, if you haven't done so please like and subscribe to the channel I really appreciate it uh, you guys are all fantastic and uh, hopefully I can start making some more more videos again for uh, these these fantastic games so yeah all right everyone thank you very much and uh, you know let me know how the spot goes for you too cheers guys bye